G'day, it's Bob. So I've just finished working through my TD30 to assign individual MIDI channels to each individual drum and each individual cymbal. Now, in the TD30 module itself, you do that for each drum kit. The beauty of this is I can now capture, or I can now send an individual MIDI channel for each individual drum and each individual cymbal within each drum kit to my door and I can export that out as individual MIDI channels. Game changing really and I really want to share that with you. Now if you like this type of video please click the like button and if you'd like to support me and my channel please click the subscribe button. Okay let's get into it. So the first thing we need to do is to plug one end of your MIDI cable into the MIDI out port on the back of your TD30 module. The next thing you want to do is plug the other end of your MIDI cable into the MIDI in port of your MIDI USB interface and then obviously plug your MIDI USB interface into your laptop. Now it's just a matter of opening up your door, assigning channels and you can start recording your MIDI. Now on mine I've also included all the master outputs from the TD so I can also record the audio onto my door. Firstly pick the drum kit that you want to set the MIDI to. In this case I've chosen the Nashville kit. Next click the instrument button. Now let's get in a bit closer and see what's happening on screen. So the first instrument I'm starting with is the snare drum. It might be different for you depending what drum you've last hit. Next click F3, the control button. And then click F5 MIDI. So here we can see all the MIDI information for the snare drum in the Nashville kit. So currently just striking the head would return a note value of 38 or D. The using, using brushes would give you a note value of 23 or B. And using a cross stick would use note value 37 or C sharp and would send all those notes to channel 10. Now I should also say at this stage channel 10 is the global setting for all drum kits and all components of those drum kits within the TD30 just by default as you get out of the box. Okay, so let's change the channel for the snare drum to channel 2. So using the scroll wheel, we'll just change global and find channel 2 and you're done. Okay, so now let's set up the next drum or cymbal to change its MIDI and all you really need to do is just strike that drum and that'll come up and you can change your MIDI channel. So using the little wheel just turn it until you get to the channel that you want to assign. In my case I've chosen channel 3. The other way you could assign MIDI channels to each drum and each cymbal is to simply click F1 the list button and then just click F3 to show all the MIDI channels and then you can just turn the wheel to find the channel that you want to assign then use the cursor keys to go to your next drum and turn the wheel to the next channel that you want and when you're finished just click the exit button 
and the Roland module remember all the MIDI channels that you've assigned for the drum kit that you've been working in. Alternatively, you could just click the kit button and return back to your kit and the Roland button will still save all the MIDI channels that you've just assigned. So next, let's set up our door to assign a MIDI channel to each track that we want. In my door, I'll just insert an instrument channel, select the channel number that's on the MIDI. There it is. And I'll go to MIDI channel 1, click OK, and I'll just relabel that to be kick drum. And then really just repeat that process until you have all your tracks assigned. I hope this video helped you start your journey in MIDI recording and if you did please like this video and as always if you'd like to support me and my channel please subscribe. Okay, Bob out.